and computational conquerors. The South Australian High School crowned the best robot builders in the world. Well, for many of you, and certainly for me, building a robot sounds like an impossible task. But imagine being the best in the world at it. A group of South Australian high school students has emerged as the best of the best at a major international robotic competition in Washington, D.C. But winning the inaugural event, now set to run annually, was more than just coming up with the best design. You've got a team. It's been described as the Olympics, but for robots. Well, it looks like Malaysia is up there trying to punch that one ball that they have. Behind the controllers were nearly 1,000 high school students from 157 different countries. But at the end of two days of competition, a group of Year 11 students from Adelaide were on top of the podium. It just felt like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's, it was definitely a huge honour. The hard work started here in their Trinity College classroom. The group had one school term to build a robot from scratch and they could only use items from a special kit sent to all of the teams competing. In this one you're not allowed to use anything, even, even drawing on the robot with um, markers they said you weren't allowed to do. The competition field was a dirty river. The robot had to gather blue and red balls, representing clean water particles and contaminants, to clean up the waterway. With our controllers, we steer it the entire time, but there are certain um, bits of autonomy to the robot. So here we have a colour sensor, and that tells whether uh, it is blue or orange or red, and it diverts the ball accordingly. Accurate computer programming made it work. Yeah, it was a big challenge because it's... I haven't really done anything with programming robotics or anything before and I, as soon as I came into the competition it was straight in it was like, oh, okay. The learn as you go method was successful but the boys took their knowledge to the world. Everything that they developed they put up onto Facebook or onto um, YouTube to share with countries. Which may sound strange in a competition setting but the winner in Washington had to have the best robot, gameplay and be prepared to lend a hand to others. We had robots, <laughs> but the robots were there as a vehicle to build the students and to get the students collaborating. Their next challenge will be winning nationals in December. Lauren Baldhuter, ABC News, Adelaide.